let's continue our tour of different races across the country, some of them scarier than others. Today, we're going to look at California Republican Secretary of State candidate Rachel Ham, who uh, has decided to run for office because her son found Jesus inside a closet in her house. Um, this is really wacky stuff, and we are going to look at a couple of clips of her. Here is Rachel Ham, again, candidate for Secretary of State in California. She's a Republican, talking to us about how she is trying to use prayer to steal votes back. So this this is very convoluted. She believes Democrats are stealing votes, and she's going to pray for God to send angels to steal the votes back. Now, why wouldn't God just prevent the vote theft to begin with? We'll never know. But take a listen to this. I would pray that I win. Yep. Um, one thing that I've been doing is praying that if anyone tries to steal a vote, that God would send the angels to steal the vote back to make it an honest vote. Mm. Yeah, I think we might as well ask. I mean, right. the angels are, you know, they can do things. They can do jobs. So I think we should give a lot of them are actually in unions. They prefer union work, a job with the election. Help us make it an honest one. So angels, if there are any fake ballots that have been produced, burn them up, find them and destroy them. If votes are flipped in the yep. machines, yep. you know, flipped away from the candidate someone voted for, flip it back. And I don't care which way, if it's from me to someone else, because that's what's honest, just make it an honest vote. Right. So I'm not asking for cheating. I'm not asking the angels to cheat. I'm asking the angels to prevent te cheating. Right now, with all of these things, I always kind of apply kind of like an Occam's razor thing, which is First of all, if there is a God, is God really concerned with the election of the California secretary of state or would God be more worried about bigger issues? And then they can come back and say, well, God is all powerful and God is all knowing. So God is involved in everything. God's involved in uh, does that banana uh, that you ate? Uh, does did it does it have food poisoning? Are you going to get sick from the banana or is it good? God's involved in everything? OK, well, so why is she even running? Um, she explained that she's running because of something about Jesus being in her closet. What what was the 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 reason behind deciding to run for this office? I mean, you've got a lot of things. First of all, I'm a prophetic dreamer, so I had spent a lot of 2019 and 20 having a lot of political dreams that I was in office. Right. And because our youngest son Ezekiel is a seer, I went and got him and I said, "Hey, can you look around and see what you're seeing?" Because and, and now it, there's a real question as to whether her son through heredity became a seer or whether it's something he learned. I, I just really I get a kick out of hearing him describe, you know, what he sees. And so I said, you know, tell, let me know if you see anything. And so he looked in my bedroom and my bathroom. And he said, there's nothing there. And then he goes into the closet, which is where I had been when I was praying. Right. And he said, whoa. And his eyes got like big as saucers. And he kind of like started backing away and they started bending down. And he said, you've got a really big guy in your closet. And his power is pushing me to the ground. Mm. And we had never had, he'd never had that reaction ever wow. to an angel. And so I'm like, is he, he's, he's for us, not against us. Right. Cause I was sure, you know, like, it was a different response. And he's like, he's full of light. He's so full of light. I can't even see his face. And, and then he said, and he has a scroll in his hand. Mm. And so I was like, then he came with a message. Like, what is the message? And the message was a commissioning. So at the very end, I asked him what his name was because I thought, if, what angel is this? You know, and he said, Emmanuel. Right. That wasn't an angel. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't an angel. That was Jesus himself. There you and go. And so that's why I'm running for Secretary of State. Yep. That's <laughs> kind of a. She, all, she the kid also found an angel in her washing machine, and then it turned out it was actually um it was actually fabric softener. Uh, so what do we do about that? What how what what is, I mean I guess. Hopefully she loses. We'll know that it was legit because at this point, God and Jesus and angels are so involved that if they can't get her over the finish line, nothing can. But this is uh, unfortunately, this is very common in the United States. And I know it's really scary for a lot of our viewers around the world and for children to hear this stuff because it is pretty freaky. But um, that's a candidate. That's a candidate, folks. One of our sponsors is called Privacy. Privacy is a totally free service that I've been using for years. Privacy lets me create virtual payment cards with one click. And when I use the virtual card, the money is taken out of my bank account. 
You can create multiple cards, delete them, freeze them, set a spending limit on them. Let's say I'm signing up for a free trial and it requires a credit card. Privacy will autofill a virtual card number and then after signing up, I can delete that virtual card so I know I'm not going to be charged again. Something really useful and very practical. Or let's say I'm ordering food over the phone, but I left my wallet somewhere. I don't have my real credit card on me. I can use a virtual card on my privacy mobile app. But really, the best part is you're not out there exposing your real credit card number, so you're not as susceptible to data breaches and identity theft. Privacy is a totally free service and you'll get five bucks to spend when you go to privacy.com slash Pacman. The link is right underneath this video.